cool album covers. Episode 66, Preach It. I'm Mark Major. I'm Rich Bachelor. And we begin with Alpha Blondie. Yep. Hey! So is he coming out of the sand, or is he coming out of, like, some sort of yellow sea? Well, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, from, at, at first glance, I thought he was holding some sort of sacred chalice, but nope, he's got the book! He's like, no, I... I'm not going to go down like this. He's going into quicksand being struck by lightning. Bad day at the office, by the way, for Alpha Blonde. Right. Oh, my quicksand. Please buy my CD. Moving on. <laughs> yep, possibly the most interesting member of Hot Tuna, Papa John Creech. <laughs> yep. He's the rock father. Boy, oh boy, man. They sure did spend a lot of time on this cover. <laughs> yeah, they did. They were able to rent a smoke machine. Yep. Oh, I didn't mean to, to go that far, but now that we're here, we can't go back. Yeah, let's just talk about the Lady Reed album, I guess. Uh-huh. Queen Bee Talks. This could also be an entry into Beefcakes, but I think she's preaching it here. If you think about it, she's got her kind of worshippers around her. Uh-huh. Whatever dudes they could hire. Notice they tried to put the bigger dudes in the front and the, sort of the skinny guy in the back and hide them, but, you know, whoever showed up that day got their $25 on the sandwich. Boy, oh boy, there's just something amazing about those particular afros and how well they do not go with nudity, sexuality, what have you. Mm, they kind of don't. You really sort of need the whole outfit, don't you? Yeah, you yeah. need to be wearing clothes with that, mister. And then, of course, Lady Reed, she's got enough clothes for like two or three Lady Reeds. Yeah, she kind of looks like an upstanding brothel owner. Doesn't she? <laughs> you think she's pimping these guys? I guess? Well, it's a really vulgar album, by the way. It's a comedy album. Oh, and, she, and she's kind of crusty. I was it. hoping it was deadly serious. <laughs> I think the cover is, but the content is like her ranting. Yeah, you can definitely tell it's someone who thinks they're being funny. George Duke. George Duke! Don't let go. I like that he's given that kind of weird sort of like, after you've just scored the one goal in soccer. Uh-huh. Which he did while wearing a kimono, which is difficult. Yeah, is this some sort of like George Duke Goes Japan? Well, yeah, look at uh, all the rest of it. Everything from standing in front of uh, the rice paper, uh, you know, room divider in his favorite Japanese restaurant, mm -hmm. to the, I don't know actually if that sticker got applied later, but it looks like it has kanji on it. Or is that just... No, it's it's English, but sideways. I actually just can't read it. For... I, li I like the idea that like, that, <laughs> that artifacts could could enhance the uh, the cover. Yeah, what is done to your album after it leaves your hands. Uh -huh. And then final... Hi! Lionel Hampton is just like letting go, screaming at the loyal worshippers, Get off the stage! <laughs> Get off the stage! Funny man! Oh, God. Yeah, he's inside of a uh, board game that is also a uh, tape player? Are you picking up my vibes? Are you going to move to blue and black square one and play the purple tape? I don't know. It's really difficult to say what exactly is happening here, except for somebody decidedly phoning it in at, uh -huh. you know, the uh, cool album cover making factory. I like up in the corners the two arrows. Like, we need to fill space. I got this one covered, chief. And he just starts penciling in some arrows there. Man, you, make one blue, make one purple, move on. What are you going to do with those arrows? Uh, nothing, nothing. I'll come back and deal with it later. It's Starboard and port. You know what I'm talking about. Preach it, Lionel. Yep. You cannot move to, like, white circling green square after this much Lionel. This concludes Preach It on Cool Elm Covers. Right on. Right on.